Hi, my name's Ellen Betcher and I wrote The Alabaster Quilt. I originally wrote this my freshman year in inspired by sweatshops and a lot of the happenings of the early 20th century in America, uh, but I, revo I revised it this year. Um, I, was, I was attempting to convey a message of how difficult the life can be and how underpaid these workers can be, which was of course a problem in the early 20th century in America, but also still is a problem in countries like China. That was the assignment. Um, <laughs> I wrote this poem in free verse because I thought it would give me a certain freedom to play with the words in the way that would best convey the mood that I wanted. This poem was a persona, persona poem, which basically means I was trying to like take on the life of somebody else and like get into their shoes, see something from their perspective. So I went into a perspective that is totally different from my own, somebody from a few, over a hundred years ago, uh, who was very religious and they had very tough working conditions, which are things that I can't really relate to. I think if I could change anything about this poem, it would be its length. I feel like there is so much history and the individual clearly has like a very strong, character that's already built into the poem. I feel like if this were almost a full-length story, it could be elaborated upon in a really interesting way. My name is Lin Chan and I'm a junior and my piece is titled Afternoon Tears. Um, I took this photo <laughs> a couple minutes before I was picked up to go take pictures of the swimming team. Um, at the YMCA and that day it was starting to pour but I got some shots while it was just sprinkling and I'm pretty sure I got some water in my camera so it's kind of it's kind of rough right now but it's okay <laughs> um I have I don't even know what kind of plant it is it's just a little bush with just branches there are not many leaves that pop out but it was starting to, I guess, bud a little bit. I really don't know how to term it. It's a weird looking tree, but some of the rain droplets got caught on between the branches. So I thought that was a really cool shot to take and my porch light was illuminating the water droplets. So I thought taking a picture would be really nice. Definitely the latter. I take photos on the whim. There's nothing really planned unless it's something that I'm actually scheduled to do, but I think doing it out on a limb is what makes a photo unique because you never know what you're going to get.